I hadn't felt like myself in a long time. I didn't enjoy the things I used to. I just didn't know what the problem was. A few of my friends had suggested I see a counselor, but I shook it off, hoping things would get better on their own. While I knew they were probably right, it was hard to imagine myself in counseling because I didn't know what to expect. I didn't want to lie on anybody's big couch. And isn't counseling just for crazy people? Am I crazy? I'm not crazy. I wondered if the counselor would judge me or if my friends and family would find out. I tried talking to friends and family about it. I tried to make more time for things I enjoyed. But I knew something was off and I really had no idea what it was or how to fix it. I even tried Googling some of my symptoms to see if I could figure it out, but as time passed, I was feeling worse all the time. It even began to affect other areas of my life. My grades even started to suffer. I finally accepted that everything I was trying wouldn't work. I needed something more. So I made the call. The receptionist was friendly and helped find time that worked with my class schedule. I thought I would be seeing someone right away, so I was surprised when she said there was a wait list. At first I thought that the wait was excessive, but after doing some searching online, I found out that it was standard procedure for most healthcare services offered at a university. It also made me think, hey, if there's a wait list, there must be a lot of people going to counseling too. I guess more people go than I thought. The receptionist said if it was urgent, I could come in right away for a same day appointment. I considered my options and decided that I could wait. As the date of my appointment grew nearer, that's when my nerves really started to get the best of me. I started wondering, what's gonna happen in the appointment? What will they ask me? Will they give me advice or blame me for causing my problems? I wonder if other people will ever have similar issues or is it just me? I didn't want to be judged by the therapist. What if they don't like me? What if I don't like them? Will they give me medication? Do I even want medication? I had no idea what to expect from counseling. So it made the wait a bit difficult. If you're considering counseling and not sure what to expect, take it from me. It's normal to be anxious. The day of my appointment had arrived. When I first walked in, I was asked to fill out some paperwork before meeting with my counselor. It had questions about my symptoms and my mental health and medical history. Then, a few minutes later, I finally met with Dr. S. Turns out she was really chill for a doctor. After she introduced herself, she informed me that everything we were going to talk about would be completely confidential, with a few exceptions, which we discussed until I felt comfortable. She also said that if we see each other on campus, she wouldn't say hello if I didn't want her to, unless I initiated the communication. We talked about why I came in. I told her that I hadn't been feeling like myself lately, and I didn't know why. I talked about how I couldn't focus in school, how I was feeling sad and angry at times for no reason, and that I was exhausted. She asked me questions about my family, my friends, any clubs or organizations I was a part of. She asked me about my childhood, any medications I'd ever taken. She also asked if I had ever had thoughts about self-injury or suicide. That surprised me a little bit, but she said that asking was a common part of an assessment for everyone. My initial fears completely disappeared in the first few minutes. I felt so relieved. It was really comfortable to talk to her. I don't know why I was so worried. In the end, we discussed a lot of different options for what to do next. She helped me make a customized plan. For me, my plan included individual therapy with a counselor on campus. However, there are so many options. She let me know that if I didn't feel comfortable working with her, that I also had the option to work with another counselor. Dr. S and I are a good fit though, so we decided to stick together. My next scheduled appointment is a week from today. After I left, I thought about all the advantages of going to counseling on campus. I mean, they're experts. Basically everyone there has years of experience and training. I also thought about how all of my concerns were sort of off base. I didn't have to lie on a couch. Turns out, I'm not alone, and it has given me a ton of hope. Sometimes it can be challenging, but I know it's a process, and I should try to keep it going. I've now gone to three sessions. I've learned a lot about myself and how to better regulate my emotions. Dr. S provided things for me to work on in between sessions, and I am getting stronger every day. I'm looking forward to seeing what comes out of this. We have about three more sessions before we reevaluate my progress. So, that's how it works. Counseling works for a lot of students. Find out if it's right for you. This is a typical story. Most students attend four to seven sessions. Services may vary, 
but all campuses offer crisis urgent care, individual, and group therapy. Check with your campus for additional services offered. Most services are free for registered students.